and we're back everyone for another Hot Toys review. This time we're going to be reviewing the uh, Black Widow figure from the first Avengers movie. You got some nice box art here. Um, it's got a really cool uh, dotted effect on there. I can't actually tell if this is a picture of Scarlett Johansson from the movie or if this is actually the Hot Toys figure. I'm leaning more towards this is actually a picture of the real actress from the movie. But who knows? Um, not really much on the back of the box. Again, I've said this before, I don't really like this style of box because it tears easily, especially when you're always trying to open it up. It's cool they got the name there. Um, so it makes it kind of difficult. And here's a first look at the figure in the packaging. Time to get the figure out and to check out the accessories. All right, here are all the accessories for the Hot Toys Black Widow figure from the first Avengers movie. Uh, starting out with the weapons, you have two pistols that she comes with. And so these pistols are functional. Uh, they are spring-loaded, cocked back like so. And the clips, of course, as you would expect with Hot Toys, are removable. And they have a painted bullet on the inside of the clip, which is really cool. And you got nice detail. No weathering of any kind, but that's probably pretty accurate to the movie. I don't remember them having much damage, so that makes sense. And you can actually see the bullet inside the chamber if you cock back and look at the gun in a certain way. Since I ordered this as a used figure and I got a good discount on it, this is actually broken and comes off. Not really sure how to fix that, but it's kind of cool you can have the look with the with this part off as if the gun were taken apart. And same as the other one, this clip comes out as well, has a painted bullet inside. And so you have that. What are these? I think those are the bombs, like the electric electricity bombs or the things she threw and then electricity, you know, came out really small. But for their size, impressive with in terms of the paintwork and details. Uh, they're not just 2D, there's layering to them. And then you have the two alternate wrist gauntlets that you can put on, the electricity ones. So I believe these are like, so they're slightly different than the wrist gauntlets on her right now. These are more, these are like solid black. Whereas these wrist gauntlets have a hint of the blue color on them. So I guess that's for the electricity because they are paired with these two interchangeable hands as if she's activating the electricity part of the gauntlet. So that's what that's for. And then of course you have two regular fisted hands. You got a nice wrinkle detail on the gloves to make it look like fabric. And then you have two pistol holding hands that are pretty much the same, it looks like. Slightly different actually, but the alien weapon, alien rifle, I'll say. And looks really cool. It has a nice shiny look to it. Looks metallic. Looks like real metal. It's got some, you know, weathering effects on it. You can kind of see some scratches and dirt, which is really cool. And then you also have just a normal stand, nothing special, kind of a throwaway stand. And so here we have the Black Widow figure in full form, starting off with the head sculpt. Uh, I say this a lot for an older figure. I always say like the head sculpt looks good. Um, this head sculpt, you know, just looking at it right off the bat, I wouldn't say it's the best uh, likeness to Scarlett Johansson. You know, there's obviously been newer Black Widow figures that look more like her. I don't think this is bad necessarily. I think I, I say that a lot before an older, fi older figure. This isn't like terrible, you know. And I think with certain lighting, I can actually make this figure look really good and realistic with photography. So just playing around with different lighting, you can actually get some really good shading on the head sculpt to where it looks more like the actress this figure is meant to portray. So I don't think it looks bad. A lot of people don't like rooted hair. I had to mess with this and put stuff in it to make the hair cooperate and so it's kind of a it was kind of a pain you know dealing with the hair do i wish it was sculpted yeah it'd probably be better if it was sculpted because it's to the, it's not even to the shoulders so that would be an easy thing to do especially with how good hot toys it is at sculpting hair and it frizzes out and stuff like that so it doesn't look very good and then moving downward to the shoulders you have the shield symbol on the side 
and the whole suit seems to be like a pleather material so yeah there's wrinkles that happen when you pose and there's wrinkles forming here um, you got nice detail raised parts a functioning zipper that actually works so that's pretty cool and then you have the belt which is attached to the figure you have another belt that hand always falls off by the way the hands on this figure are pretty loose like they come off easily and they have this belt which is not a functioning belt it's just like a rubber material and you got details like pockets and utility functions of course you have the gauntlets just the normal ones that are deactivated And then moving on downward, you have details on uh, just the legs and stuff. And you have like a gun holster here. This is plastic and fabric right here attached to the costume glued on. This is movable, so it's not attached. And it looks like you can undo this strap right here. Or maybe not actually. No, you can't. That's sculpted plastic, so you can't. There. So this is where you can adjust it though. And then same with these. You can adjust those straps right there for this holster on this side which is the same thing as the other one basically sculpted plastic and then the boots are all sculpted plastic as well you can't you really can't move them all at all actually um, and then there's detail on the bottom as per usual and so yeah this hand in particular i believe is designed to hold one of these i'll just call them bombs here like so works pretty well. So in terms of articulation for this figure, the head sculpt can move obviously 360. You can look up pretty far because the neck is like a rubber material and you can look down pretty far. Actually, yeah, pretty far. Won't stay that far down though. And then side to side. I like that they made the neck a uh, rubbery flexible material because it gives you way more options. And then the shoulders move up pretty far and then they move forward over 90 degrees actually but you're gonna mess up the pleather material if you do that it just wrinkles up a lot so that's why i really don't do these poses that much but just to demonstrate and so then the elbows are double jointed and then they can bend back a little bit but not too far and in terms of the chest yeah that that does have some articulation so you can move forward and back not too far back and you can twist about that far and twist that way and there's another joint in the stomach area which you can twist but not too much because the belt limits it in terms of the hips you can move the legs up to about there I don't even know if yeah and then back about that far and then the knees are double jointed but again the fabrics kind of become damaged the more this is done and the knees go about that far forward there's really no articulation in the boots other than being able to turn them. Uh, the ankles, there's just, there is, but it's not gonna stay really, so you can't move forward or back. And so you can uh, just holster the pistols like so. And on either side, you can holster the pistols on either side. And the pistols usually stay in the holsters, but this one's broken, so it kind of falls out. And so. So in terms of what I think about this figure, I think this is a, you know, pretty fair figure, a decent figure to have. Um, I don't know if this is my favorite Black Widow Hot Toys figure or not, because this is the only Black Widow. This is the only Black Widow Hot Toys figure that I have right now. You know, I say this a lot, but I think this figure still holds up um, and looks good. I think with the right lighting and the angles, the head sculpt looks really good. Is this the best Hot Toys Black Widow head sculpt ever? Probably not. There's a ton of other Hot Toys Black Widow figures out there. The newest one to me looks like the closest resemblance to Scarlett Johansson, but I still think this one looks pretty good and I think it passes. And um, I think this one, you know, it really depends on the lighting. Um, like right now, I mean, I look the best in terms of the head sculpt and it's frustrating to deal with the hair. Just going into negatives, the other frustrating things are is that the fabric of the suit itself does wrinkle easily it's probably pleather or something like that and so you know it kind of just starts looking bad after a while 
and so it makes you not really want to pose the figure too much. Um, almost makes you want to keep the museum pose. Uh, unlike recent Hot Toys Black Widow figures, the zipper is actually functional. Um, I don't know why they changed that other than to make it look more realistic because I mean I guess this zipper is technically probably not exactly the right size. It's probably hard to decrease the size of a zipper and still make it functional so maybe that's why they made the other one sculpted who knows but um other downsides of the figure you know the hair like i said would be better if it was sculpted probably i don't necessarily mind rooted hair when it's done right and i know it can be managed to look good um, but this one could have easily gotten away with sculpted hair just because of how short the hair is and it wouldn't have messed with the figure it would have been fine but this was kind of before Hot Toys started doing that on the female figures, or any figure with long hair, I guess. The boots are kind of, they're not that great. That's another negative, I would say, is they're plastic, and they kind of look, have that toy look to them. Um, kind of like the New Goblin ones, you know, maybe a different material would have worked better. Um, the boots that Hot Toys does now for the figures definitely look a lot better, so... I just kind of chalk that down to this being an older figure, so I don't want to make too big a deal of that. Um, anything else though? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, I think that's that's about all for the negatives. Uh, in terms of the positives, uh, I like I said before, the head sculpt still holds up, um, especially with certain lighting. Uh, the posability is really good, it's flexible. The problem is, when you pose with flexibility, you get the wrinkles on the suit, so it's kind of a neutral thing there can be a good or bad thing and I think overall the costume is accurate to the movie it looks good I mean yeah looks like Black Widow from Avengers so uh, I think yeah that's pretty much it uh, if y'all have different thoughts let me know in the comments below I want to hear your opinion and yeah that's I just need a few more of the characters from the Avengers and then I can have the whole Avengers team that's the goal so so yeah, until next time.